It's no surprise that New York is known as the city that never sleeps. There are numerous stores, restaurants, museums, galleries, and other attractions in New York City. You'll find plenty of fun things to do, whether you're visiting with friends, a significant other, family members, or children. To get you started, here is a list of 10 best things to do in NYC that you should not miss out on during your visit. Number 1. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty, America's most iconic landmark, is at the top of any first visitor's list of things to do in New York. It was France's gift to the United States. Built in 1886, it is a world symbol of freedom and one of America's top attractions. It is one of the largest statues in the world. Standing just under 152 feet tall, from base to torch, and weighing approximately 450,000 pounds. The statue can be seen from land, with particularly good views from Battery Park on Manhattan's southern tip. However, the best way to truly acknowledge the Statue of Liberty is to take a short boat ride to Liberty Island and see it real close. Take a leisurely stroll around the base, and if time permits, enter the pedestal. As of the time of this video, the crown is still closed. On a trip to the Statue of Liberty, you have the choice to stop at Ellis Island and explore the Immigration Museum. This wonderful museum is housed in the historic Immigration Station complex, where thousands of immigrants were processed before being allowed to enter the United States. Number 2. Central Park A walk, pedal, or carriage ride through Central Park's crisscrossing pathways is a must-do on any New York City itinerary. In the winter, you can even put on your skates and skate around Wallman Rink. One of the things that makes New York such a beautiful and livable city is this massive park in the city center, which is half a mile wide and 2.5 miles long. Aside from being a great place to enjoy some nature, Central Park contains many attractions, the majority of which are free, making it one of the few inexpensive things to do in New York City. The Belvedere Castle, Strawberry Fields, the Central Park Zoo, and the lake are among the most popular places to visit. If you're going to explore the park on your own, get a map from one of the visitor centers and plan your route. Number 3. Rockefeller Center and Top of the Rock Observation Deck when it comes to New York attractions, Rockefeller Center is on almost everyone's list. The 70-story, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, an Art Deco skyscraper in the heart of Manhattan, is home to NBC TV and other media. But the centerpiece is the famous Top of the Rock Observation Deck, which offers spectacular views of Manhattan. The deck, as it's known, consists of three floors, the 67th, 69th, and the 70th, Day or night, the indoor and outdoor viewing areas provide breathtaking views. A Top of the Rock Observation Deck ticket can be purchased in advance. These tickets have a flexible voucher redemption policy, allowing you to change the date if your plans change or the weather does not cooperate. Number 4. Metropolitan Museum of Art the Metropolitan Museum of Art, or the Met, was founded in 1870 and is one of the most well-known museums in the United States. The Met's permanent collection contains over 2 million works of art dating back 5,000 years. Although the museum has three locations, the Met Fifth Avenue is the focal point. American art forms, art and armor, costumes, Egyptian art, musical equipment, photographs, and much more are among the highlights of the collection. Number 5. Broadway and the Theatre District One of the best things to do in New York City is to see a Broadway show. This is the place to see the latest shows as well as long-running classics. It is considered the pinnacle of American theatre. Broadway is commonly used to refer to Broadway theatre, which includes a large number of theatre venues in the theatre district and along Broadway. Tickets for the most popular shows should be purchased well in advance. Number 6. Empire State Building The Empire State Building is a well-known landmark in New York and a popular tourist destination. The 381-meter tall, 102-story building was the world's tallest until the One World Trade Center tower surpassed it 41 years later. When it first opened in 1931, the Empire State Building, which was topped with a mooring mast for airships, quickly became a landmark and a symbol for New York City. There are two observatories atop the Empire State Building, but both provide breathtaking views. On clear days, you can see for up to 80 miles into neighboring states such as New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. Number 7. 9-11 Memorial and Museum 
the twin 110-story World Trade Center towers once dominated the Manhattan skyline before being destroyed by suicide-piloted jetliners on September 11, 2001, with a tragic loss of life. Where the World Trade Center's two towers once stood, two one-acre square reflecting pools now stand. The area, known as the National September 11 Memorial, is a moving tribute to the nearly 3,000 people killed in the September 11, 2001 attacks, as well as the six people killed in the earlier World Trade Center bombing in February 1993. The pools are recessed and surrounded by trees and grass, with water cascading over the sides and flowing into a seemingly bottomless square. Number 8. High Line the High Line, an exciting and recently expanded New York City attraction, is a former rail line that has been transformed into an urban walking trail above the city streets. This one-of-a-kind linear public park has been planted with a wide range of plants and trees, many of which are native to the area. Although the High Line is only two to three stories above street level, the views of the city's architecture and lookout points over the streets provide a completely different perspective. There are art installations, benches, and a sitting area with bleacher-style seating, and a glass wall looking out onto the city along the route. The trail is massively used, and on weekend days it can be incredibly busy, but it's still a peaceful retreat without the surrounding traffic. Number 9. American Museum of Natural History the American Museum of Natural History, one of New York City's best museums for a family outing, has something for everyone. Eight permanent exhibit halls showcase everything fascinating about our planet's natural environment, from science and the environment to animals and fossils. The museum also hosts special displays that are only on display for a limited time. One of the current exhibits worth seeing is one on sharks, which features models of the magnificent creatures that you can actually touch. The rare 22 karat Okavango Blue Diamond is also on display. And finally, number 10, Times Square. Times Square, which is lined with massive, brilliantly lit billboards and screens, is the place to be in New York in the evening. But it is still exciting at any time of the day. This is where New York's New Year's Eve celebrations take place as well as the famous ball drop at midnight, when the square and surrounding streets are packed with people. Times Square is busy and always crowded, but it has its own distinct appeal. The bleachers at one end are a great place to take a break and enjoy the scenery. Times Square, formerly Long Acre Square, was named after the New York Times Tower in 1904. In 1928, the newspaper posted current headlines along its moving sign the first of its kind in the world. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss out on our next videos. Until the next video, take care.